Sin's Classic 103 traces its heritage all the way back to its founder, Helmut Sin, who built watches for the German Air Force in the 1970s. Unlike Sin's other feature-packed watches, you won't find submarine steel, moisture-absorbing capsules, or a gas-filled case. But you will find a classic and beautiful design with a number of complications that enhance functionality and complement each other. This is just about as nostalgic as Sin gets, and they do it better than most. Much like other brands out there, it's always tempting to release special versions of a much-loved model, and this is the latest, the limited edition 103 SAG. It's not just green, it's vibrant metallic green. Let's take a closer look. We love this watch, but there are a couple of points that we'd like to cover critically today in this review. The metallic effect of the green shade is one, and the wearability of the watch is the other. But let's take a look at the strap first of all. This timepiece is fitted with a sand coloured canvas strap with a leather backing. Compared to other canvas bands we've seen, this is quite substantial and good quality. We think it suits the model and complements the dial well, but we'll come back to that later. Of course, if you'd like other band options, there are strap package deals from us here at Time Only. In terms of wearability, it's thick but comfortable. In fact, don't let the 16mm height put you off. We're a little concerned about the case height to diameter ratio, but once on the wrist, the clever design of the rounded back gives a visually flatter aesthetic and allows for a very comfortable wear. Now to the watch functions. If this is your first time with a Model 103, you're in for a treat. At the three position, you'll find a day and date complication, which is highly legible and ticks over in an instant. This is also where you'll see Sin's logo proudly displayed. As part of the chronograph function, there is the minute counter at the 12 position and the subdial above the 6 position keeps track of hours and half hours. Finally, at the 9 position we have the small second subdial that is constantly ticking away throughout your day. The syringe style minute and hour hands are a lovely touch and work well against the fuller chronograph display. They are easy to tell apart and don't cover any numbers or crucial information. As with the sister model 104, the loom is more than adequate and also complemented by loomed up digits on the dial. So while we're here, let's talk about the green dial. As you can see, it's a rather sparkly green reminiscent of shimmering metallic colours sometimes seen at classic car meetups. It may not be everyone's cup of tea, but the benefit of the metallic effect is that it really only lights up in bright daylight. Indoors or under normal light, the green effect is quite subtle. A small feature we quite like is the slightly different shade on the anodized bezel. This adds an element of calm to the design and also enhances legibility thanks to the tonal differentiation. Zinn's last green limited edition sold out within six months of launch, and this model is mostly sold out worldwide, so there are obviously plenty of people who agree with us. The slightly darker green bezel is of the friction kind, so you can turn it in both directions easily, but you have enough resistance here for it not to move on its own. The dial is topped off with a domed sapphire crystal with anti-reflective coating on the sapphire crystal, so you'll never struggle to tell the time, regardless of the conditions. The crystal has been custom made to replicate the profile of the acrylic case that's in use on the base 103 model, and achieving a dome on sapphire is no mean feat, so kudos to Zinn for that. Before we turn the watch over, let's have a quick look at the crown and chronograph pushers. The crown is signed and screws into discrete crown guards. Unlike on the standard 103 models, the pushers for the chronograph are not of the screw-in type, since this model is based on the 103 acrylic model. Regardless of this, the 200m water resistance is retained. Ok, time to have a look at the engine, and it's really something different. In use here is the Concepto C99001. It's anti-magnetic as per DIN 8309 with 25 joules. It's quite similar to the Valju 7750 that we find in many other 103 models, both in size, capacity, quality and performance. So there's no need to feel like you're getting anything less than quality. The large, open case back gives a good view to the movement. 
The large rotor spins freely and you can definitely feel it on your wrist when it does. The screwing case back has the usual specifications. Notable here is that this is a limited edition of 500 worldwide. So about this thickness of 16 millimeters. There's not one single review that does not mention this and typically states that it still wears well. So is that true? Yes, there is a bit of magic at play here. The angular lugs and rounded case back are designed to convert a hefty watch into one that molds into your wrist. It is still on the high side and there are times throughout your day where it may feel a little top heavy, particularly after a sudden movement when the rotor spins into action. That said, we are confident in saying that we agree with the majority of reviews out there. The 103 with its clever case design does give a comfortable wear. So should you buy one? That depends. Have you always wanted a 103 and love the color green? Then yes. If you're not sure but are thinking about it, then the answer might also be yes, since this is a limited edition and will be gone soon. We particularly like it on the canvas strap. And if you're in the market for a classic design, excellent functionality and a green dial, you can't go wrong here. Hopefully this video has helped your decision making process and we really look forward to hearing from you. Time only. The authorised sin dealer 